So my name is Cédric Jamar. Uh, I'm running Agalmalt and I'm part of the uh, collective Brussels, Resto Bar Brussels for something like five months. What's the group? Why was it formed? So it was formed uh, originally uh, around March uh, for the very first lockdown uh, and basically organized uh, so that uh, little bars, restaurants and the like uh, could be heard um, where they weren't even listened to. Yeah. How many members do you have and where do they hail from? So we got already a few hundred members uh, and still counting. Um, Knowing the fact that uh, we are uh, not uh, charging any entrance fee and uh, we are uh, basically running uh, thanks to uh, volunteers, including my humble self. You are looking after the Brussels region. What, what I guess, what do you, what do you, uh, what have you done so far? Uh, we've done a lot of meetings uh, uh, at first to recognize uh, to recognize each other uh, to understand what are the major uh, uh, challenges we're facing. I say we because even if I don't have any uh, bar any place, uh, I am also suffering this situation, especially because uh, without bars, I basically do not work. Uh, and so uh, the main idea uh, is to uh, meet and understand all the uh, challenges we're uh, facing right now and uh, putting them into words and trying to bring uh, solutions out uh, for our um, uh, politicians basically. Are the politicians listening and what solutions are you proposing? They are slowly uh, paying attention to uh, our uh, claims um, even if it's uh, very very slow and they it seems they uh, pretend not to hear properly what we have to say and uh, we say that basically um, we've been closed uh, um, uh, very harshly even after this little period of uh, during which we could uh, indeed open but in their, uh, under strict uh, conditions and those conditions implying for most of us a lot of investments including plexiglasses, uh, 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 waiters, but also uh, more spaces into our places and uh, within a few months we had to close like uh, the, the very same day uh, we heard the news. Um, we are facing, even if we can't open our places, we are facing uh, 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 relentless uh, fees that we have to pay. We have to pay uh, uh, our landlords, we have to pay the taxes, we also have to pay for the royalties even if we can't open the bars and so on and, stuff and so forth. And so simply put, if we could, if we could uh, summarize our message is just one sentence. If you close us, you have to pay for what we have to pay. That's as simple as that. And so uh, we're struggling to make that a herd uh, by uh, as many people as we can, uh, including our own customers, because um, if you just listen to uh, uh, the main media and uh, the politicians, most people believe that uh, uh, bars and restaurants are still making a lot of money, which is uh, a false claim, of course. Uh, and especially because we have huge differences uh, between the regions and so uh, you are uh, more helped uh, in Flanders than in Wallonia and Wallonia is even uh, better helped than uh, Brussels and so that's the, one of the major uh, flaws of our uh, system is that even if we're in the same uh, situation of not being able, not being allowed to open, um, we have to pay the same. Yeah, we have to pay and uh, uh, we're not helped the same way. And so that's the point. What's the danger if you're not helped? The, what, actually, it's no longer a danger. Uh, it's already happening. Uh, small bars and restaurants, which are basically the very soul of our cities, of our country, um, they're closing to the point that uh, if you let that happening, and it, it keeps happening, uh, you'll no, no longer have uh, uh, small bars and restaurants, but instead you'll have uh, chains and uh, big uh, uh, commercial entities um, 
and to the cost of our uh, culture, our uh, specificity, uh, uh, individuality, uh, uh, and what makes uh, Belgium so unique. Mm. And I guess it's also the small entrepreneurs that are going out of business, as you mentioned. And, uh, and all the big chains will pick up some of these bars like they're already doing in the UK. The problem is that we are, even still today, we are suffering uh, a bad stereotype uh, for which, for example, uh, most uh, uh, Patreons are making a lot of money, black money, they're not uh, uh, declaring all the, uh, the benefits uh, they're making. Thing is, it doesn't work like that. It's uh, far from being true, uh, for most of them at least. And uh, the better question would be, uh, instead of, um, okay, if you're making uh, money without declaring it, that implies that you're a cheater and so you shouldn't be helped at all. Uh, the better way to um, approach it is, why would you have to cheat? not in order to make uh, uh, a lot of money, but to make a living, just to be able to, uh, uh, to pay your, your uh, personal taxes. And that's the kind of debate we're not even ready uh, to have with our politicians. So that's basically the point, I believe. What kind of public actions have you done? I, I guess people might associate you, you know, when I talk to people about uh, people uh, protesting, they think of all these people attacking the police and in the streets and causing, I guess, troubles. I see that a lot of you are very peaceful, you, do, you follow the rules, you follow the COVID rules, and you do small gatherings and you're mostly about signs and trying to make the public aware. Of course, our point is um not to make trouble, we're far from it actually. We want, we believe that if we want to be heard, we need to do it uh, peacefully at first. And we'll keep on doing it as uh, much as possible. But on the other hand, if we're not uh, being uh, paid attention to, we might change of uh, tactics. Uh, yeah, of course. What kind of tactics? Basically, so far, we are uh, peacefully uh, uh, sharing our uh, uh, strike and our um, uh, claims. Uh, and if it doesn't work, we'll have to change. I won't go any further into that, but of course, that might change. What's uh, your latest action? Is it upcoming? It's coming next uh, Friday uh, in several places, including uh, Brussels. A few uh, communes will, be, will take part of it. But uh, that's February the fifth. Yes, absolutely. Uh, PM. Uh, you'll you'll see it coming. Uh, it will be uh, very uh, uh, loud and wide. Uh, but most of it will happen in Wallonia, uh, uh, in several places, around thirty places to uh, in total, and uh, we'll share uh, a common uh, thanks to a common voice. We'll share the same message: uh, help us, or we'll die. Help us or we'll die. That's a message that everybody should be aware of. Yeah, absolutely. These are small gatherings of people with signs. Is, is that what I understand? Yes. Uh, peaceful. Some of them uh, will make uh, music. Some of them will share uh, 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 theater and so on and so forth. But the, the common point will be uh, like uh, the posters and uh, the same uh, message. Yeah. And for your own business, personally, how has it affected you? you are in the craft beer sector and beer tasting, you run thing, group things, you help out bars, you do teaching and beer tasting. How has that affected? Is it completely shut down? So uh, everything is shut down because uh, it's uh, several factors working all together or against uh, uh, my, my, uh, my business. Uh, I need uh, places, I need uh, to be able to uh, gather people all together, uh, I need uh, people to uh, taste and to share uh, and all of the above are not possible. Uh, plus the teaching uh, is far from being as comfortable and efficient uh, uh, online than uh, in, in real, you know, and so that's uh, the major uh, flow of it. I strongly believe that uh, if I just work for myself, um, I won't, that won't work, that won't do the job. And so I would uh, instead um, 
follow this very simple uh, philosophy for the greater good. If I help others, that might I might be beneficial at the end uh, uh, through that, but not directly. And that's not the point. The point is to be able to uh, help the whole sector on its own. Uh, uh, the whole sector, yeah. What would be the end result, the good news for you? I guess, obviously, opening, being able to open up again if COVID measures are in place and being able to operate until all the vaccines get through. But I guess you would, in the meantime, need a, how much support you estimate would you need from the government? How much would it cost? That's a tough question. Depending on what you're considering, that would go. I I, I wouldn't be able to to put any figure on that. But it that would go from uh, helping uh, landlords and uh, uh, the bars and so on, uh, paying basically what they uh, what they own. Uh, that would go uh, from uh, helping bars and restaurants uh, to put on hold all their credits and. Um, being able to pay uh, students and uh, also the workers um, that would go from, uh, I believe, uh, help uh, uh, breweries, but also uh, all the other uh, people working for uh, bars and restaurants uh, to help them from uh, going bankrupt. Uh, that would go from uh, if we know as precisely as possible when we'll be able to open completely not a little uh, 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 the little way we could uh, in, in in July but in, instead completely fully uh, open uh, that would help um, to not ask them to pay taxes for a few years so that they can be prepared uh, to go back on their feet um, that would go from um, I believe uh, lowering, lowering the, the taxes, including on beer, uh, helping the small producers instead of uh, helping uh, the big companies, just you know their names, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and I believe, and that's the, the trickiest, I believe, um, this situation also opens up, highlights the fact that uh, this sector is not being understood properly the way it works for many years and uh, we can see that from now the way they're not helped the way they're uh, uh, poorly considered um, and so the best from that uh, uh, putting the money aside uh, would be to uh, sit down at a table with politicians uh, and also uh, other, um, let's say, collectives, uh, unions and whatsoever of this specific sector to explain, to put words on real situations and not uh, fantasies or a stereotype. Okay, our work is not what you believe it is, but this is our work. We make uh, students work and live. Uh, we pay a lot to landlords. Um, we make uh, people uh, being happy and meet and uh, uh, having their share of um, sh social living. Uh, we help uh, theaters, culture uh, to live on our side uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, we're not the cheaters. Um, we are uh, being uh, uh, said for many years. We are not necessarily uh, the ones that are trying to uh, trick everybody uh, uh, as soon as they can and as many as they can and so on and so forth. I believe that would be the best um, uh, consequence of the whole, this whole mess. We have to face the, the, the conclusion that we are not being understood and those that have uh, the power, the money, but also the power of decision, uh, they, not, they don't understand and they're not even trying to understand what is basically the life of bars, restaurants and the like. They just work, they function on stereotypes.